Why am I calling the bow tie effect the silent killer of diamonds? Well, it's because this is the one issue that is not listed anywhere on a lab report, GIA, IGI, whatever it may be, but this issue can significantly impact the overall beauty of your diamond. The only way to spot this issue is if you know what it is and you know what to look for so that when you put eyes on your diamond, you can identify this and stay away from it. With that being said, in this video, I'm going to break down three things. Number one, what is the bow tie effect? Number two, what kinds of diamonds have the bow tie effect? And then number three, and most importantly, how do you avoid having this effect in your diamond? Let's jump in. First of all, what is the bow tie effect? The bow tie effect is when there is a large dark spot across the middle of your diamond where no light is being reflected back out of the diamond. As you can tell from these pictures, it looks like that dark spot in the middle of the diamond is a bow tie. That's where it gets its name. And as you can also tell from these pictures, it is a very unflattering look to have. So that's a quick explanation of what the bow tie effect is. Now the question is what kinds of diamonds is the bow tie effect most prevalent in? This effect is always to some extent present in oval, pear cut and marquee cut diamonds. In other words, any kind of fancy cut stone that has an elongated shape, and particularly these three, is going to be susceptible to a bow tie effect. Now you know what it is and what cuts of diamond they show up in, the question is, why does this happen? The reason for this is that fancy cut stones require much more intricate and complex cuts to create the stone as opposed to many other cuts in the diamond industry. This is even more intensified with elongated cut stones like the marquee, the oval, and the pear. What inevitably happens is when these diamonds are cut, they aren't cut perfectly, and when they aren't cut perfectly, the amount of light that reflects in through the top and then back out is imperfect, and thus, the bow tie effect occurs because the bow tie effect is simply a lack of reflection out of the top part of that diamond. So with all that being said, that brings us to our third and most important point, which is how do you avoid having this effect in your diamond. There are three simple things that you can do to make sure you don't have the bow tie effect in your diamond. Number one, always make sure you get the best cut grade possible when buying oval, marquee, or pear cut stones. Diamond cuts are graded from poor all the way up to excellent. I strongly recommend never going below very good cut. If you have a diamond that is very good cut, and very good symmetry or better, the chances that you will eliminate the bow tie effect gets much better. Step number two, actually inspect the diamond with your own eyes. Real quick, if this video is adding value, hit the subscribe button, let's keep going. Now, if you know me and you've been following this channel, you know that I think that buying a diamond in store is one of the worst decisions you can make from 2021 and beyond. Now, this may seem scary not being able to see the diamond in person, but if you look at these videos from online vendors, you will see that a 4K camera with 360 degree capability under a 10 times microscope will give you more than enough to make sure that you don't have a bow tie effect in your diamond. And if you go this route, the biggest benefit is you're going to be saving thousands of dollars instead of going into a retail store. If you get one of these videos from an online vendor, just use your eyes and the knowledge that you have from this video and you will make sure that you're not buying a diamond with this effect. And then finally, the third thing you can do to make sure you don't get the bow tie effect is don't over obsess about this issue. Remember that every single oval, pear, or marquee cut stone you're going to buy will have this effect to some extent. In fact, having a subtle bow tie effect in your diamond can actually be good because it adds a tiny bit of contrast to your stone. What I'm talking about here is very poorly cut stones that have significant dark spots across the middle and ruins the overall brilliance and appearance of your diamond. We at The Faithful Platform would love to help you walk through this process. We custom build engagement rings every day and hand select diamonds for our clients. If you're interested, there's a link in the description. We would love to give you a free quote. I hope this video helped. We'll see you on the next one.